Permanent hair color is an oxidative hair color that is formulated to last indefinitely, depending on the porosity of the hair. It is the only hair color designed to both remove natural pigment from the hair while adding artificial pigment to the hair at the same time. We will focus this lesson on pages 681, 682, 693, 694, 718, 719, 720 and 721. Our learning objective for this lesson will be to list and describe the procedure for a virgin single process color service. Again, be sure to perform a patch test when using permanent hair color. Permanent colors are oxidative colors, meaning they require the use of an oxidizing agent, such as hydrogen peroxide. Generally, the developers used for permanent hair color will depend on the color formulation and may require the use of higher volumes of developer than those required for demi permanent colors. Permanent hair colors contain aniline derivatives, which are very small molecules of uncolor dye. These molecules are so small they can enter the cortex easily. Hydrogen peroxide developer molecules also easily enter the cortex. Only once inside the cortex do the aniline derivatives and the developer combine. Once combined, the aniline derivative and developer create a color molecule large enough that it becomes trapped inside the cortex layer and cannot easily be shampooed out. These molecules can remove or lift natural pigments only, not artificial pigment, and deposit artificial pigment all during the same process. Permanent colors are used in many applications, but are the best for covering gray hair. Permanent colors are designed to last in the hair permanently, depending on the hair's porosity, the type of shampoo the client uses, how much, and what types of heat are applied to the hair, and how often. Permanent colors will still fade over time, depending upon the treatment of the hair. Other than the typical fading of the color molecules, the only ways permanent colors can be removed from the hair is to be cut off, or removed with lighteners. There are some types of permanent hair colors called vegetable colors, that are made from plants, barks, and leaves. These types of hair color products can be very messy, and leave the hair with very weak color results. Because these colors are made from plants, they are very limited in color choices. Unlike aniline derivative permanent colors, that penetrate into the cortex, vegetable colors only permanently stain the cuticle layer. Henna is an example of a vegetable hair color. Metallic hair colors are another form of permanent hair colors. These colors are also known as progressive colors and gradual colors. The user of these types of hair color should be aware that they are known as gradual hair colors because the hair color will gradually get darker each time these colors are applied. These hair colors tend to progressively give the hair a dark, dull appearance as opposed to the sheen or shine that most clients desire. These are the types of hair colors that professionals commonly refer to as box dyes and are typically found over the counter or on drugstore shelves. They contain metallic salts such as lithium, sodium, potassium, zinc, copper, nickel, or iron. And the most common metallic salt found in over-the-counter box colors is cetrimonium chloride. When mixed with the ingredients of professional color lines, the combination of the oxidation process with the metals from the box dyes can start to boil, burn, and melt the hair from the inside, as well as cause burns and blisters on the client's scalp. The application of a permanent hair color is called a single process hair color. When performed on virgin hair, this application can both lighten and deposit in one process. When performed on previously colored hair, this application can only go darker or deposit color. Begin by draping the client for a chemical process. Put on gloves. Part the hair into four uniform sections. Apply protective cream around the hairline to prevent the color from staining the skin. Prepare your color formula. Using 1 4th inch subsections, apply the color 1 half inch away from the scalp and down to the hair ends. Complete all four sections. Using the same 1 4th inch subsections, go back through each quadrant and apply the product to the scalp area, completing all four sections. Allow the color to process according to the strand test results. Once the desired shade is achieved, shampoo the color out with warm water, condition, dry, 
and style as desired. The process of applying the same color formulation to a client's hair that has grown out and faded is known as a single process color retouch. To perform this service, you will need to drape the client for a chemical service. Put on gloves. Part the hair into four uniform sections and apply protective cream around the hairline. Outline all four quadrants with a color product. Use one fourth inch subsections and apply the product to the new growth only, being careful not to overlap the line of demarcation or the line that delineates where color was applied during the last color service. Process according to the test strand results. Then, prepare and apply a color glaze formula and apply to the mid shaft and ends. Shampoo, condition, dry, and style as desired.